my name is Katie Duanson. I'm here at Vincent's Sugaran Ski School, and I figured today we do some workouts on the lake. Um, I'm going to show you guys two exercises. They're really good for warm ups for any of the events, and they're actually like really good to do just like a da daily exercise almost because it's going to work. The push ups are going to work your, your shoulders, they're going to work your balance, they're going to work your whole core, and I'm going to do a version of a plank on the ball and it's going to be the same thing, it's going to work your balance, your coordination, so these two exercises got a little bit of everything in it which means that they're great to do all the time. They're really good to do actually as a warm up especially for probably for any of the three events. So alright, let's get started. First I'm going to do the push ups that I'm talking about. Everyone knows how to do push ups but these are different because we're doing them using the ball. So. Put, your leg, put yourself in a push-up position, put both legs on the ball, and so we can either do beginner, which means you're just going to do it with your legs on the ball, like this. The slower you go going down, the harder it is to stay down, come back up. If you want to make it a little harder on yourself, do them with one leg off the ball, like this, go down, come up, down. What's important is that your hips don't move. So you change your leg. Down. Up. Down. Up. Don't go like this. This is, exercise is really important because as soon as you lose balance, you're going to fall off the ball. So you really want to stay up. One leg on the ball or two legs. Alternate. Do both. And just do your push-ups. Then, another exercise that can be really good. Also for probably like core and your coordination a little bit is instead of doing, everyone knows the regular plank. Go like this, put yourself in a plank on the ball. It works a little bit of everything, especially you want to make sure that you keep this straight, this, this, and this in one line. You don't want your hips to go up or down. Make it a little harder, use only one arm. Obviously you can't just, I mean you can do it like that, but it's really hard. So start by Putting your legs a little wider so that it's a little spreads a little easier, like this. One arm on the ball. And what's really important, you don't want to do this. You want to do it like this. So keep everything in line while working only one side of your body. Put yourself back in position. See, I'm getting tired already. Same thing on the other side. Always work both sides. It's really important. Same thing. Put your legs a little wider so it's a little easier. Nice on top of the ball. Don't do like this. Make sure you get your hips square. So you're going to feel it more on one side of your body and the other side, but it's really going to help you coordinate your hips, keeping them straight while only working one side of your upper body. I hope these two exercises will help you on and off the water. And as you see, it's beautiful out here. So come ski at Vincent Suveron. You can follow us on Twitter, Vinny Ski School, and on the website, vincentsuveron.com.